Welcome back, dear viewers, to Quirky Chronicles, where we add a dash of fun to historical tales. Hold on to your hats as we dive deeper into the captivating siege of Waynesburg, where loyalty and a sprinkle of comedic charm turn the tides of fate. Ah, Waynesburg, a town that knew how to spice up the medieval party. But in the year 1140, the jolliness was interrupted by the looming presence of Duke Conrad III, a conqueror with an appetite for cities and a towering reputation. What brought him to this delightful hamlet, you ask? Well, it's a tale worth telling. You see, dear viewers, Duke Conrad was on a mission, a mission to expand his dominion and add Waynesburg to his ever-growing collection of conquered lands. It was like a game of medieval monopoly, and Waynesburg was the coveted property on his radar. But the town had a few tricks up its sleeve. Now, let's rewind a bit and uncover the events that led to this uproarious siege. It all began with a disagreement. As most tales do, Waynesburg had chosen to side with Duke Wealth VI in a power struggle against Duke Conrad III. Oh, the politics of medieval nobility! Who knew that a simple preference could lead to such interesting consequences? Duke Conrad, ever the serious contender, took great offence to Waynesburg's allegiance to his rival. He decided that a lesson needed to be taught, and what better way than a good old-fashioned siege? It was a clash of egos and a battle for dominance, but little did the Duke know that Waynesburg had a secret weapon. Enter Lady Hildegard. The mastermind behind Waynesburg's laughter filled defense. She knew that traditional methods would be futile against the Duke's formidable army. So she rallied the townsfolk, and together they devised a plan so audacious, so utterly hilarious, that it would go down in history as one of the wittiest pranks ever played. Lady Hildegard approached Duke Conrad with an offer he couldn't refuse. She proposed that the women of Waynesburg be granted safe passage, carrying with them only what they could bear on their shoulders. But here's the twist, my friends. She suggested that the women carry their beloved husbands on their backs. Now, imagine the Duke's bewilderment. Picture the scene as the town's courageous women paraded through the gates, their husbands clinging to their backs like oversized backpacks. It was a sight that even the most stoic knight couldn't resist. Duke Conrad couldn't help but burst into laughter. And that, dear viewers, was the turning point of the siege. The Duke's laughter echoed through the battlefield, his army, and even the walls of the castle. The absurdity of it all made him realize that perhaps conquering Waynesburg wasn't as important as sharing in the laughter of its clever inhabitants. With tears of joy streaming down his face, Duke Conrad called for a ceasefire. The siege had transformed into a riotous comedy show, where tickle fights and belly laughs replaced sword clashes and battle cries. Waynesburg had turned a dire situation into a whimsical performance that left everyone in stitches. And so Waynesburg not only survived, but thrived. The town's loyal and mischievous spirit had saved the day, proving that laughter truly is the best armor. The siege of Waynesburg became the stuff of legends, retold with chuckles, a testament to the power of wit in the face of adversity. And there you have it, dear viewers, the uproarious tale of the siege of Waynesburg. It reminds us that even in the darkest times, a well-timed jest can shine a light and change the course of history. Join us next time on Quirky Chronicles for more mirthful stories from the annals of time. So, until next time, may you carry the spirit of Waynesburg's wit in your hearts, finding laughter even in the face of the most daunting challenges. Just like the brave townsfolk, let humor be your secret weapon. Cheerio!